This year, the 2nd Marine Division demonstrated apex levels of lethality, endurance, and comprehensive warfighting capability. In alignment with Force Design 2030, we've developed Apex Status Infantry Battalions, tested the Infantry Battalion Experiment, and challenged our leaders through the Division Leader Assessment Program, improving our ability to seize and hold key maritime terrain in a contested environment. Our reach extended throughout the European region to maintain strength and cooperation with our partners and allies. In Norway, alongside the Norwegian Army, we evaluate how the force can train, fight, and remain equipped in below freezing temperatures. East of Norway and Sweden, we capitalize on coastal interoperability near the Baltic Sea during Exercise Archipelago Endeavor. To the south, in Ukraine, we adapted our ground combat proficiency shoulder to shoulder with Ukrainian Marines during exercise sea breeze. Division units traveled to France to engage in artillery and close quarters combat events, training alongside and fortifying relationships with our French allies. Sustaining effective bonds with partner nations requires us to maintain a high standard of warfighting that is demanded of the Marine Corps and of the Follow Me Division. Marines coming to this division want to train aggressively. We want to be part of an organization that is forward leaning, that has a sharp edge, that has good equipment, um, that holds them to standard, and we're doing that. The effectiveness of the division is dependent on the individual marine and sailor. Our resiliency was tested, but never wavered. The marines and sailors of the Follow Me division stand ready to fight and win. And no matter what the hardware is, we're going to be okay. Whatever they take away, a well-led, well-trained Marine will always accomplish the mission. <laughs>